folks, a couple rumbles of thunder and a few splashes of water. Rain pretty hard in a few spots today, but for the most part, it's been fast moving showers moving across the valley. Started in Cameron County this morning, then began working westward through the upper valley around lunchtime and now up into Star County. The stuff that was down here, here's what's left of it, moving up into Zapata and Jim Hall counties as we speak. To the south of us, though, we're still tracking some rain. A little thunder and lightning embedded within this. Most of it south of the Rio Grande, but the stuff that's just south of, say, uh, Donna, south of Westlaco, San Juan, that'll probably come across the river. It's kind of going almost paralleling the river, just a little bit of a northward movement to it, so it'll probably sneak across the river. I think if you're west of about Progresso, you could pick up a brief shower, even a thunder shower this evening, but certainly by sunset, this stuff should fade away. Stark County, what's left of the morning stuff moving out, and again, the stuff that's south of the river, that'll likely move across, so you could pick up another shower or two during the evening rush hour. Now, Future Track says by 9 o'clock, it's pretty much all gone. It's all moved to the west, and overnight tonight, we quiet down, and then during the daytime tomorrow, an isolated shower is possible. Again, we'll call it a spotty shower, but probably more clouds than sunshine. We continue going forward. You move into Friday, same kind of deal. I think we've got a lot of clouds again, still spotty showers. We're just in a weather pattern that favors spotty shower development the rest of the week. And even in the weekend, while we don't have showers in the forecast, it's hard to completely rule things out. We're going mainly dry for both Saturday and Sunday. Uh, you know, 5% chance, something like that then. And even tomorrow and Friday, it's not a big deal. Current temperatures, about 80 in the west, upper 70s in uh, Westlaco, Harlingen. 80 at Port Isabel right now. Here are your lows tonight. Most of the valley should drop into the upper 60s. The exception will be the island at about 72. Do watch out for patchy fog. Enough moisture around. Nights are long enough. We still could see some patchy fog. And then tomorrow we're back in the uh, upper 80s again with that isolated shower of possibility. The normal high is 85. We'll go 86, 85, 87. So we kind of stick around the seasonal norm. Records not going to be threatened at all anytime soon. Here's the last 12 hours on Satrad. And you can see the moisture starting in the lower valley moving across this last stuff, likely sneaking up this evening. Here and then in West Texas, that's where the rain is today. In the middle, things are relatively quiet. That moist flow is going to continue out of the southeast. And as it does, we're likely to continue to see uh, high humidity levels. A couple of disturbances kind of move across on the upper level flow. That combination gives us that continued chance for a few showers. So for tonight across the valley, 68 with a stray shower, then turning mostly cloudy. Uh, I think your temperatures, again, are going to bottom out in the upper 60s. And then tomorrow under... Uh, partly sunny skies, a spotty shower, 86 for a high. Southeast winds at about 10 to 15. So, you know, this is pretty close to normal for this time of year. Again, the average high for uh, the middle part of April, outer part of April is in the mid 80s. And we'll be right there, give or take a couple, all the way through the weekend. This is also the time of year when the atmosphere is just waiting for something to come up and squeeze the moisture out of it. Did that last night, did it again this morning, and it could happen really almost any of the next few days, but we don't expect anything big, mostly light stuff, passing showers, maybe a bolt of lightning embedded in there, but for the most part, nothing big. Okay, but either way, you guys are always on top of it, which is a helpful thing. Right here, watching it here and on the KRGV Weather app. You can get it there as well. Which I love. Great app. Thank you. It's a good app. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. You're welcome, Tim. <laughs>